Hello everyone, so I know I'm a bit late with this, but I thought it would still be appropriate for me to showcase it. This is gonna be about Yasuo EQ recall bug, which allows you to do some crazy combos. And I just wanted to talk about it a bit and then show it in game, a bit how to do it. I don't fully know how it works, I don't know if anyone does. Fucking riot spaghetti. And then after I'm gonna show Chinese Yong combo, actually. Chinese Yong combo. Sounds troll, sounds like I'm memeing, but it's literally a Chinese Yong combo. I have not seen anyone else do it. Except maybe I don't know if it's just this Chinese Yong player or if it's multiple, but yeah. I'll show that after as well. And also I'll preference this by saying I'm not trying to take any credit. I don't give a fuck. I'm not the guy who did these combos first. I just wanted to show them. I think Curtis is the first guy that and I made it a bit popular, or like, you know, got a lot of likes on Twitter doing it. But kind of what's happening is you're storing your EQ to come out later. If you look now, it's EQ recall. And now it comes out. And that's buying time for his Q as well. But I don't think this is not the best way to use it. This is just like, I mean, this was his first iteration, I guess. Like, I'm sure he's done crazier things by now. It was a while ago, but yeah, I'm gonna show now like a really OP way to use it. I believe it's OP at least. If you can do it consistently, I think it's really broken. So what he's doing is EQ recall. Or actually, I just let the clip play first. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so what he's doing is EQ recall, waiting a bit for his Q to come back, and then EQ flash. Auto, and then the sword. Q is hitting the Yon as well, so he's getting knocked up twice, and then he's doing EQ ult. He could have fit in more autos, that's kind of why it's so fucking broken. I mean, this is already strong, but you can fit in even more autos. What you can do is you can hit your opponent with three Qs, two of which will knock up, three to four autos, you have the time to do three to four autos, depending on your attack speed. Then you do E damage and ult damage as well. And during all of this, the enemy is CC'd. That's why it's really broken. Then there's this as well. Like I saw this guy. I don't know exactly what he's doing. I thought I would still show it. Fucking, I think he's Brazilian. Fucking Brazilians are crazy or what? But anyway, he's doing... He's not doing EQ, I think. He's doing E recall. But the only way to get recall off without using Q... Well, like getting it off mid-dash, I think you have to emote. So I think he's E emoting, recalling. And I don't fully know how it works. And then after he's doing EQ flash very fast, stored out, and they're just autoing, store up Q hits, and then EQ. But yeah, I don't fully know this one. <laughs> I'm not sure how this one works, I'm not gonna try and explain it, or what the fuck, I'm not clue. But I just wanted to show it. I'm gonna go in game now, and then show a bit how to do it. Okay, so I'll preference this by saying I'm not sure. I assume it's gonna get fixed, and there's a lot of Yasuo bugs right now, so I assume once those gets fixed, or once they get fixed, like there's a very um, crazy E bug. You can E yourself, and you can also... It sometimes E's when you're spamming it, it will just E randomly. And I think it's the E that's fucking everything up. But anyway, I think what the only thing that matters in the combo is the timing in which you string together EQ and recall. I think that's the only thing that matters. I'm not fully sure, but I believe so from playing and testing a bit. What I like to do to make it a bit easier, like get the muscle memory down a bit better, is autoing before and canceling with my E. But you don't have to, it does. I don't think it matters again. I think it's just EQ recall. So I'll try and showcase it. There you go. As you saw, a little spin after, delayed. And I've also seen you can kind of choose, not choose, like you, you can delay the spin longer and make or make it shorter. I'm not fully sure what, what that depends on. But yeah, again, I think it's EQ recall. That's what matters from what I've seen. Okay. Um, and also you can do it while having a Q stack. So you could do it now. There you go. And I have my Q ready again, so I can, I'm delaying my EQ while having a Q ready. The thing goes off and my Q is off cooldown, so I'm like, I can insta like get a nade out of nowhere. That's really unexpected. But the main way I think you want to use this combo is with a nade so What you will do is EQ recall into EQ flash, then you just auto until you don't have time to auto anymore. And then you do EQ ult, because the, the, the opponent is going to get knocked up twice. Once from your EQ flash, and then once from the stored up Q3. I'm going to try and do it. Fuck it up, happens. Sometimes you're shit. Try again. There you saw. I think I cancelled some autos. It could have probably fit in one more auto, but you saw it. It's so much damage. Again, I said before. Three Qs, three to four autos, E damage, and ult damage. An enemy doesn't have like 
much counterplay. I think the main way you would use it is when you're like fighting squishy champ, maybe like Fiora that has a parry. She is pretty squishy, but she can one-shot you, right? Maybe stuff like Zillian that wants to ult himself before he gets one-shot. Maybe Kindred, Vladimir from his pool. And then you just do this combo. Champs that can't carry, like they can't punish you that much for like sitting here and recalling for a bit. Um, you're not standing still too long. And they, yeah, they can't really, like if they're in the vicinity, you can always do the combo, right? If you can do EQ recall and implement it very differently. There's a lot of ways to like experiment with it and combine it and stuff. But I'm not going to show that. I just wanted to show the gist of it. Now I'm going to show the Yon Chinese combo. Literally Chinese combo. Okay, so now I'm going to show the fucking Chinese Yon combo leader actually was the guy who showed me this he sent me it and I, at first i actually didn't notice because it's kind of hard to notice what's happening but leader has like a very good eye for these details in my opinion honestly so props to him not again not trying to take credit i don't care props to leader i'm just one i just want to put this out there so maybe someone can figure out how it works because i've tried for a very long time not very long like i've tried for maybe a couple hours can't make it work a single time i had some friends try it majority of them can never make it work and the few who did got it like one time out of multiple attempts okay so here it is again it's gonna it's kind of hard to see i'm sure i'm gonna get comments where people try and do this i'll just show it first i'll just show it actually maybe i shouldn't have music it looks normal at first glance it looks normal but but it's not he is ulting mid E dash, which normally doesn't work. You can ult after the E is finished dashing, but he's ulting mid E dash and he's actually moving his ult a bit doing this. That's also why it's bugging out like this. I'll slow it down a bit. As you can see, you already see the loading bar from his ult while he's still dashing. Here's another clip. Also is moving. See? This one is, I think this one is less obvious. You can get it like, you can get it really good where you move a lot, which is what you want to do. And then you can get it not amazing, but you still move a bit, but you're always aiming to move as much as possible because it makes it hard for enemy to realize what you're even, where you're even going or then to dodge it, you know? It's less, but that one is way less obvious. But he is still doing it a tiny bit, he is. And then there's this one where he actually fucks it up. He's going for it, but he fucks it up. There he didn't move at all. That was just, that's what it, you would think it would look like. That's what, what mine looked like and my friends. So I don't really get it. Um, Leader got it one time as well, but he's tried for very long and got it one time. And can't get it, make it work again. There's my friend doing it one time as well. He got a really, really insane one. See? He got it so well, he missed his ult. Because what's happening is he's Q3ing in, Eing and ulting, and he's, his cursor is obviously on the dummy, because that's how you play when you want to ult someone. You have your cursor on the target and you press R. But because his E is pushing him, he's completely missing his ult. By a mile as well, like, it's crazy. But if you can do this one consistently, it would be so insanely OP. Because then you could adjust. If he knew he was gonna get it, he would put his cursor here. Yon would dash into the target with this all, making it really hard to dodge. I don't think there's a reason for me to go in game even. Like, this, I cannot make it work. I don't fuck. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, I don't know how you do it. I just wanted to showcase it because I haven't seen people talk about it much. Again, leader showed it to me. And I also just wanted to say I appreciate all the support on YouTube. I am grateful often, I just don't say it enough, okay? I just want to say I appreciate all of you. And thank you for watching. That's it.